Hi, I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about this, the Henry vacuum cleaner, but specifically as an extractor. Now, these have been around for years and builders have used them for generations. So why are they so popular? Well, they're cheap and they're very, very reliable. Of course, some do break, but this one's been around since the 90s and it's never let me down. So I do actually own a Festool CTM MIDI now, which caters for most of my tools. But this here, I use for my mitre saw. For two reasons. First of all, it saves me having to take the extractor to the mitre saw every time I need to use it. And secondly, the button is on the top. So I just press that with my foot and it turns it on. So one thing to point out early on about this is this is an older machine, as I've just said. The more modern machines that you buy now are a lot less powerful. So this here is the 1100 watt machine, whereas the newer ones are 620 watts, so only half the wattage. Now, pneumatic do claim that they're just as powerful, and I disagree with them. Also, who else disagrees with them is people that I know at work for pneumatic, which happens to be just up the road from me. So if they say it's not as powerful, I'm taking their word for it, and also, because I use it, I've noticed it's not as powerful as the new ones. Apart from the George, if you get the George machine, it does have the more powerful motor, but do you want to spend all that money on a George for wet and dry and carpet cleaning for an extractor? Probably not. So the best thing to do with these, and I'm going to tell you a few ways of modifying these to make them a lot better. So the best thing to do, first of all, is to try and find one of these on somewhere like eBay or Facebook Marketplace or something like that where you can get the older machine with the more powerful motor. So the second thing I do is this hose is not standard. This is a 38 millimeter hose and beside the point of obviously letting bigger material up it so it's not getting stuck all the time with a smaller hose, this has actually made the machine a lot more powerful or a lot more efficient anyway. Um, you know, to me, this, this was the biggest change for the machine that made it a lot better. The other thing is the bags. So these are the bags I now use. These are the HEPA flow bags specifically for these pneumatic machines. And the great thing about HEPA flow bags is they catch smaller dust particles. So in a previous video, I spoke about the difference between an L-class and an M-class machine, low and medium risk dust particles. And I come to the conclusion that it doesn't quite mean what it says it means when you research it, which is that if you need an M-class machine for stuff like MDF dust, for example, which is smaller particles, it, it doesn't actually mean that. You're not gonna get a better um, more efficient filter in an M-class machine than you are of an L-class. Specifically, talking about my Festool, the CTM MIDI, which has the same filter and bags as the CTL MIDI, which is the lower class machine. But we're going off topic a bit here. So, Epiflow bags, brilliant for obviously smaller dust particles. I use this for MDF, uh, hardwood, softwood, obviously not asbestos. I think you want a specialized machine for that. Um, but for most things, this works. Another top tip. Well, first of all, you can get a HEPA flow filter. This is not one, this is just a cotton filter, but I haven't upgraded to a HEPA flow filter, but I've heard good things about them. Um, I'll show you another top tip. Underneath the bag, if I can get the thing out, which is pretty much full, So there's a bag almost full. So underneath the bag, keep an old air freshener, like a magic tree, or this one's a cheap, mighty oak magic tree. So the point in that, obviously for the smell, and you're wondering, does that make a big difference? It makes a hell of a difference. So make sure you don't get a nasty air freshener because it will make the whole room smell of it. So if you're cleaning up after a job, it's brilliant because the customers will always say, oh, what's that smell? You know, thinking you've sprayed air freshener everywhere. 
but it's actually, it's just coming out the back of the Henry machine as you're using it. As it gets warm and it puts out the smell, these ones, they don't smell that good. But if you get a nice new magic tree or something like that, yeah, you'll be really impressed with it. So we might as well actually change the bag over while we're here. Um, so I'm gonna put a link in the description for these bags on Amazon. That's a, this one here is a, a 10 pack. You know, Amazon is the cheapest place I've found them. Sometimes in places like Tesco's, they do have offers, but it's not that often. So, I mean, I'd probably go for Amazon for that. I'll put a link in the description for this hose. It's not expensive. I can't remember the price. It was only about 12 or 13 pounds, something like that. But don't quote me on it. Check the link below. But I have to say this hose has made a hell of a difference on this machine. All right, so the bag's in. So one thing I will point out is I spent over 400 or I think possibly even 500 pound on my Festool extractor. Obviously that has things like the power takeoff switch, the blower and things like that. But I'd actually say that this is more powerful. I'm still convinced when I put the two side by side, that it is more powerful. Um, which is really impressive. I really would recommend getting yourself one of these, or if you've got one, I'd recommend the hose is the first thing. Um, I don't think they make any other bags anymore anyway, so it probably would be these HepaFlow bags. One bag I would stay away from is they make like a, um, a zip up bag, it's reusable. The problem with those, and I've used one before, if you're hoovering up sort of big sort of chunks of something, it's fine. But if you're going to be using it on small dust particles, so any kind of dust, any, anything you, from your power tools, it will just blow straight out where the zip is and it will make an absolute mess. Then you've got to blow the filter off before you put it back in and clean it all out. So a lot of people, builders especially, I've noticed over the years, they use these without a bag. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but they do cope okay. So if you've got a lot of rubble to clear up, if you've just demolished a room, you know, you've got a lot of brick dust and stuff everywhere and it's just carnage in there, then obviously if you don't use a bag, it's going to save you. I, I'm not sure how much these work out to be. It'll be in the description, but obviously if it saves you a lot of bags, then that's quite a bit of money it saves you. But I, like I say, I wouldn't recommend it because the filter in there is not a HepaFlow filter for fine dust. The bag is. So the, the bag is pretty good um, at filtering out um, the harmful dusts. So there's not a huge much more I can say about this machine. I think it was, uh, it was made in, I did check this up before, I think this was 1992. Um, I got this off a friend of mine who worked at Pneumatic a few years ago um, and it's had a new motor in it, an old stock motor, so it's got the more powerful motor. Whereas these days you can't really get hold of those. If you can, great, get one. So that is something to mention actually, if these do fail, um, you can't actually easily get the older motor. They actually do a replacement part, which is the newer, lower wattage motor. So I know some of you might prefer that, you know, you're more into the sort of eco sort of side of things and you want the lower wattage, the less power consumption. But for myself, I want something that performs better doing its job. So there's obviously a, a bigger difference with these uh, older ones as well, is that this has got the switch on the top, which I'll show you now. And also what I've done to this one, I'll zoom in closer anyway, is I've put this clip on here, which means that when I wrap it up, then it keeps it all nice and tidy. So there is one big negative to these machines, as a lot of you will know, and a lot of you will have cursed that before is the fact that he falls over a lot like he's drunk um, I mean his eyes look pretty drunk anyway um, but it does tend to fall over in the van so there's probably ways you can get around that but it doesn't really bother me just sort of pack it in well so another great thing with these obviously is how you put the cord away you just spin that and it goes in there and then yeah, I put that clip on there, so what I can do is, so I wouldn't be doing this backwards, but obviously it's on the camera, and that would clip on like so. 
oh, I didn't do the best job of it, but obviously you get what I mean. So that is now all together. You don't have to sort of wrap the hose and try and tuck it in here like most people do. I've got that handle free and it doesn't come out. And my next job is to go and get some new magic trees to replace these nasty old things so it smells nicer. So thank you for watching. Sorry, it's just a short, quick video today, but I hope you will look at getting some of these bags and obviously upgrading the hose. Like I say, it really is worth it. And also remember that little air freshener trick. It makes a huge difference. So if you've taken anything valuable away from this, then please consider subscribing. I'm not one to beg for subscriptions, so if you didn't enjoy the video, then that's fine. Don't subscribe, but leave a comment. Thank you very much.